Last little portion we like to do, at least I do. You go through all that trouble. Why not wipe it down a little bit? You go through all that trouble to clean it, service it, ensure things are right. Just give it that little fine little detail wipe down, you know. True professional. Takes a little pride in the work. Take our blower door stuff. Where our schematics, troubleshooting guides are. Wipe it down, right? Make sure it sits down like that. Burner door, you'll notice the burner door because of the slots. Wipe it down a little bit. Take our little brush. Just knock off some of the dust and dirt there. Make it look like a true professional was here that did it. And we should be about ready to fire it back up in just a minute. All right, we are almost done with this furnace here. Except now, I have broke out my handy dandy back rack informant too. Right? We're going to do gas leak check. I'm just going to kind of check a few little spots right quick. Try to go about one inch per second. You picked up something there. When it flashes like that and beeps, means we have picked up something. All I just did was turn the knob. Now here, this side of the gas valve. I know you're going, we can't see, we can't see. Try about maybe like this. How does that work? Zoom in and out like that. You can see sick, right? Here, where that, see where the tip is flashing there? You will never pick up any gas there right now. The gas valve is off. There is no gas flow. Here, where I'm checking right in the inlet, Ain't much there. Woo. See that? We have an idea of something going on. Is it the pipe dope or is it a gas leak? I'm going to make note of that. Huh. I wasn't even on a gas line portion there. Just like this. One inch per second. Boy, we're going to have to do some soap bubbling here. That's the thing with the electronic detector. Just because it's going off and it's showing me things like that. Let me go to the vent on the gas valve here. Right by the vent. See how it goes off and makes all the noise. The little lights go all the way up to the top right there saying danger danger let me show you a little trick with this see how it picks up 
it's flashing more, all that fun stuff. It's sped up a little bit. Does not mean that I'm made of natural gas. All that comes down to is I smoke, therefore it's picking up like nicotine residue or something on your fingers. That'll set it off. So we got a pretty good amount of little beeps here. Right there on the gas shut off. Woo! Probably be why the homeowner's been going. I think I smell gas sometimes. See if it does it again. Nope. Yeah. This gives me an idea of something going on here. Let's see if we can't move a little bit here. Switch camera angles. Hopefully we'll be able to see a little bit better what's going on. So. Union, there's a leak. Some of these elbows, there's a leak. get soap bubbles out to verify everything just because the electronic detector goes off the pipe dope will set these off and everything like that I think I've been in houses where kitty litter has I have ones with curiosity I want to check on we'll see how well this will work I kind of like this things here I don't see any pipe dope right up here. But you see lots of evidence of Teflon tape everywhere. Remember, biggest thing, people, when you have gas leaks in a house, it's not so much on small, little, tiny, insignificant ones of anything blowing up. You have to have the proper air, fuel mixture, all that other stuff. Without that, nothing's really going to happen. What's going to happen, though, too... Nobody likes high utility bills, right? Well, gas leaks will cause higher utility bill because you, if it's leaking, it's going through the meter, it makes the meter spin. You will have show extra gas usage. Now we're going to go ahead and fire up the furnace. I know some people are thinking, you picked up gas leaks, don't fire it up. Nothing like that. Don't worry, mainly it's is all demonstration stuff. Sequence of operation, get a call for heat. You hear the induced draft motor come on. Before it does that, it's gonna make sure the pressure switch is open because it's a normally open switch. If it's closed, there's a failure. So the inducer motor's on, has closed the pressure switch, circuit board is doing the checking. It's gonna go through usually 15, 20 second, pre-purge just kind of if there's anything from leftover gas left over suck it up out of the furnace through the heat exchanger up through the vent pipe there 
You'll hear little clicks when things go on. You see the orange glow right there? I know you can see if I stop moving the camera. That is the hot service igniter firing up. It'll do that about what? 10, 15 seconds. Boom. Pretty blue flames. The flame sensor is picking up the flame. It's proving there's flame. Flame has been proven, so it'll stay on. It'll turn the igniter off. Give it about 30 seconds. You'll hear the indoor fan motor come on. Yeah, 20 seconds it may have been. I don't know. The front blower is on. Now, you're probably looking at that going, Dope, I, I see yellow flames. I see yellow flames. No, let's turn some light off here. What you're seeing there is orange flames. Those are totally different than the yellow flames. Orange, since we stirred up dust and we cleaned up the furnace, all that is just dust being burnt off there and just burning dust, that's it. If these were yellow flames, you would actually see a solid yellow color there with a lazy flame. If this was a natural draft furnace, I could show you, but since it's not a natural draft furnace, it's pretty hard to show you, but you get an idea of what's going on on that. That's just dust burning off. We're going to do a carbon monoxide check. What we want to kind of do, what I'll do, be on the safe side. Since I know I have leaks on the return duct, through all around there, to see if we're picking up anything. This is like the industrial strength tool for doing a carbon monoxide check, back rack, fry right probe. Ain't got nothing here. Ain't got nothing at the bank. Ain't got nothing at the water heater, right? I know you're probably thinking you gotta check that supply air. There's supply air down here. We're gonna open the bad boy up nice and wide. Look at that. You have to show the camera, look at me, show the camera, look at me, show the camera, look at me, type of thing. We got go carbon monoxide there. The only other little things to do, take some amp draws of the motors. I just want to check the inducer motor. Nobody likes to really check those. So we have our motor, meter, motor, meter, meter, motor. Right. All we want to do is with it running, the data plate on here says 1.71 amps. Neutral wire, meter clamp. And we are at 0 0.6, 0 0.6, which is perfectly good for that. We're below, what is it? The low damp rating, we're below that. We're good. The only other thing to do is check the blower motor. We just need to get the soap bubbles out and verify it. Can't seem to find my soap bubbles, so we won't be doing that today. That'll probably be another video. Some other house because we want to make sure things are taken care of here. And if we stop and think about it. We have completed our task. The furnace is serviced. Everything is nice and good. The only other thing to do is just check the temperature rise. Wouldn't be too bad to do. You guys want to see a temperature rise check? Yes, alright. 